This um, incident has been a blessing to me. The slap. Yes, wow. it is, and I'm grateful to Ubi for, for slapping. Yes, you know why? Let, let me tell you. I'm having a show <laughs> on the 10th of November. Mm. Mm. I've been having a bit of financial challenges mm. on promotions okay. and all that. My billboards are not out. My show is like three weeks away mm -hmm. or less. My billboards are not out. My TV ads are not yet rolling. Mm -hmm. You understand? You know, there were some funds that were supposed to come. You know how when you're planning something mm -hmm. and sometimes, okay, then this money is coming and it doesn't come. Mm -hmm. You're like, okay, what next, what next? Mm -hmm. So I was even thinking of strategy to use to promote this show with the little resources that that is available, mm -hmm. and then this thing happened. Yours, no, let's be direct, and then the slap came. And the slap came. <laughs> this is an instant promotion. Mm. I'm here instant pre-cop. Instant pre-cop. This is an instant promotion. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. And there's no way, um, we've already talked about my show. Mm. There's no way this thing would go on. Yeah, we've made peace, mm. but I'm taking advantage of the moment. Yeah. And I'm promoting my show, something mm. positive. We're cool with Ubi now. He's my friend. Mm. He'll probably be at the show. You get my point. Mm. It's not life, no, day difficult like that. Mm. I like your honesty. You don't give me money. Funny enough, I have mean, Ubi. Oh, okay, okay, don't worry. So I'll buy ticket. I said, no worry, make a first duty. I don't send account number, Sha. Mm. So well, you never learn. I never see a lot. You go learn. So if I don't see a lot, me and Ubi go Now Ubi and Sandra, before Sandra get a lot, it takes more. <laughs> so, <laughs> maybe now after your show, you go forget your... No, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. I, it's not about money. No, from what I heard about yeah. Ubi, though, he actually supports um, yeah. people. No, in I know. He does. He so, you know, he does. Yeah, yeah and he also supports a lot of women, too. Yeah, he does. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Cheerful giver. Okay, so when did you start the stand-up comedy business? Uh, very a long time ago. Mm. The first time I heard the microphone to tell a joke was in 2005. Mm. That's a long time. What was your first joke? Do you remember? Uh, I don't think I remember. I can't remember my first mm. joke. But, but how it started was when I was in school, yeah, I used to do music. I used to do rap back then, you know. Mm. So, uh, the first so you're time a field I, rapper? I'm a field rapper, yes. Okay. <laughs> the Welcome time, to the club. Uh, I told <laughs> a joke. It, was, it wasn't like a joke joke. It was like emceeing a show okay. on campus, you know. I emceed this show where uh, I was supposed to perform as an artist. The MC didn't show up. And, and this funny guy who, you know, just in the mm. studio play, you know, mm -hmm. just. So I emceed the show, and the guy who, who did the show liked it and was like, okay, I'm going to do the next one. He put me on the bill, next one to MC. So that was how the department started. All these girls mm. on campus, they, okay, come and MC my birthday. Mm. They don't give me money. Rise, you would think, okay, rise, they to chop. You know that kind of mm. stuff mm. like that. Uh, yeah, based on school mm. level. You know, so I started, then I came to Lagos to do music. Mm. I came to Lagos to do music. I actually produced a couple of songs. You know David Jones? Nah, bo, nah, make a mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. like, I was a producer. producer. Yeah, yeah. He, was, yeah, oh, he is. Okay. He's a great producer. You know, he did uh, a couple of songs for me. Song never saw the day of uh, light of day. Why? You need money to promote music. Mm. It takes a lot to promote music. Now you have will be in your corner, so. No, I can't. Maybe you I can, can try again. I can't do, if I'm going to do music, I'm just going to do it for fun. Okay. That means you, it, I can't put music in my was energy. not even a passionate thing for you. It was was, just... See, there's a stage you get to in life. Some things you have to let some things be. Mm. You understand? It would be stupid of me to begin to say, I want to chase music now when I'm seeing the light in comedy. Mm. Okay, so understand? now that you said all of this and you're saying that, oh, you're taking advantage of um, this whole slap thing, mm -hmm. what, what, what's the guarantee that this wasn't staged or this never happened? So, <laughs> can you, yeah, mm -hmm. just for promotion. What's the guarantee that um, this wasn't staged? You know, I asked um, initially, did, were you really slapped? Let me, let me, let me tell you something. Mm. If, if you've known me, some people, especially in my industry, would tell me, oh, you should have been bigger than this. There are so many things you don't do. Mm. I just believe... I'm a comedian. Let me tell jokes. I, I don't really know how to do social media or media or I'm not good at it. Reminds me of I'm, te I'm terrible <laughs> at those things. Mm -hmm. If you look at my peers, if you look at the guys who I would say were about the same set in the industry, mm -hmm. a lot of them have a lot of more followings than I do. Mm -hmm. I'm comfortable. I'm a content person. So you're saying you're not the kind of person to stage this kind of I would never. For publicity. If, okay, if so I, since you didn't stage it, can you tell, take us on 
the journey of how it well, happened. Nah, did Ubi we just, have we have seconds did to go? Did Ubi just walk up to you and I just slap you? No, you couldn't have just done that. Altercation and then you yeah, said something back. You know, this is what was what happened. I directed a cappella stand-up performance mm -hmm. for his show. I was a director of his performance. I I done my bit, mm -hmm. done my set on stage. I'm back. Uh, backstage now, I was trying to make sure I, I, there are some things I needed to put in place, mm -hmm. you know, so because he was going to come up, he was already set to come up. Because, and you know, when somebody who's doing a special wants to come up, there's this tension, there's this making sure that, okay, what's right, what's not right, is everything set? Do you understand? You don't, I mean, people pay money to come and see you, uh, you must give them value for yeah, their money. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, in that process of me trying to, so we just Come, hey, come. In my mind, he wanted to say something. I didn't, you know how mm -hmm. you're not prepared for something like, oh, but this video, I was like, hey, Ubi, wait. You know how you're mm -hmm. trying to, like, hey, wait, I didn't yeah. come, I didn't do something. Mm -hmm. Next thing, he jacked me. It was when he jacked me, and I looked at, Acapella was standing right here, mm -hmm. and in my mind, punch this guy. The other mind, slap this guy. The other mind was like, no, if you do this, you're going to disrupt this guy's show. Mm -hmm. You understand? And that was no matter, this slap. You just yes, slap. and no matter what happens, I would blame myself. Mm. Like, why did I fight this guy? Mm. So after the jacking, his so after the jacking, I was just, I just, I was standing like this. I wasn't even, you know. So he was talking, and then next thing, go I slap. It was when he slapped me that I just like, eh, you like Chris. Was the slap really hot? You no, know, be hands soft. Okay, mm. that's <laughs> how we wrap up this episode <laughs> of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Shukere, gang, gang. the entire production team, and of course our studio guest Bumini Aho. Thank you for being here. Thank you. My name is Elsie Godwin. Saying thank you for watching and see you later.